So welcome back to the channel. A uh, little bit of a different episode uh, today. Uh, I started this YouTube channel about uh, one and a half years ago. And I actually just started this channel without a proper introduction about who I was or what I was doing. And yeah, you've seen a lot of videos on this channel, but of course I had a whole photography life before I started this channel. And what I want to take you with today is what I did before uh, this channel. So these images were never in an on-location video that you can see on the channel. Uh, these are just all the images before I uh, started YouTube. And I'm actually thinking about another video uh, to introduce myself uh, even a little bit better. Um, and I'm calling it the Ask Me Anything video. So if you have any questions to me uh, about cameras, personal life, whatever, just leave it in the comments. Send me a message to my website, uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll try to make a video where I'm going to answer those questions. So in today's episode, uh, we are going to look at the wildlife and bird images that I took. And I only used Olympus gear uh, from when I was a teenage boy uh, until now. Uh, yeah, right now it's OM system, but uh, in, the, in the past it's been Olympus uh, for all these years. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So let's have a look at the... Uh, yeah, what I've uh, been doing uh, uh, all these years. So first of all, uh, let's take a look at the cameras that you're going to see that I've used during uh, those years. Uh, I started out in the digital uh, era with an SP560 Ultra Zoom, then the E520, the E3, which was a fantastic beast. Uh, my first uh, professional camera, I think. Uh, yeah, and I took some amazing images uh, with that one. I really loved that camera, but it was a bit bulky and big <laughs> at that time. Uh, then the first mirrorless camera, the EM1, uh, EM1X, another beast of a camera, really bulky, but amazing images. And right now my OM1 uh, camera. And I also own this camera, this, which is the EM1 Mark III, but it's never been used for photography. It's mainly my uh, video camera, which I'm filming on right now. So um, I, I don't even think that I ever shot one image with this camera. So it's only a video camera. So let's look at the first image uh, of this video. Uh, this was taken with the SP560 Ultra Zoom camera. It wasn't even a mirror reflex, uh, just a super zoom. Uh, before that I owned the SP500 uh, Super Zoom camera, uh, which was my first uh, digital camera. Uh, but this was the, the first time that I produced an image, <laughs> considering wildlife that I was actually uh, happy enough about to show it to you. So this is uh, one of those marmots in Yosemite National Park in the United States. And I've placed these images in uh, a specific order. So the oldest image first and the latest image last. So you can see the progression that I made. And uh, so you can see that it isn't top notch pictures from the beginning all the time. So let's go on. Uh, second image, same trip in the United States, uh, this uh, sea elephant on the beach. Yeah, back then I was just really happy with an image like this. And yeah, I really liked wildlife. So I've scouted this location uh, back then. I knew they were on that beach, a specific beach on the Highway 1 uh, uh, on the west coast of America. And yeah, they were there, just really happy I could uh, caught this. But it's not the best picture, as you can see. Uh, the next year... I wanted to go to South Africa and I knew I needed a different camera because the SP560 was way too slow for wildlife. And so I bought the Olympus E520, uh, first digital mirror reflex camera that I uh, owned. And yeah, so I went to South Africa and I shot this uh, penguin, which is my favorite animal actually. And yeah, I just really love this, uh, uh, these penguin colonies in, uh, in South Africa. Same trip, uh, a sunbird, uh, yeah, I think this is still a really nice image, uh, really brilliant background, good composition, the bird with his uh, beak, beak, I think, <laughs> in the leaf, so uh, yeah, happy with this shot. Uh, also the same trip, uh, one of the first times that I uh, was out on the golden hour and I just noticed this giraffe and uh, it was just a really nice atmosphere in this image. So this is from the same trip in South Africa, Kruger National Park, uh, a young leopard in a tree. 
yeah, just amazing. We were the only car there at that moment and just an amazing sight to, uh, to spot an animal like this uh, in the trees. Also shot with the Olympus E520. The next year we went to Mexico, which was a bit more of a beach holiday, but still took all the camera gear with me. And I think this is one of the only uh, uh, wildlife or bird images that I shot during that holiday, uh, which if I remember correctly is a turquoise a mot mot. Uh, a bird <laughs> and yeah I just really like that tail with those two small thin feathers going through it yeah an amazing colored bird so two years after the Mexico trip uh, we went back to South Africa uh, yeah we just fell in love with that country and I needed a new camera so I bought the Olympus E3 which uh, was a professional uh, digital camera at the time a bit bulky, heavy, but it was really awesome. So I took that to uh, South Africa and uh, shot this image of a giant kingfisher that uh, just caught, uh, caught his fish. Um, you can also see that the, the backgrounds are starting to be a bit more blurry. You know, the, the glass that I had in front of these uh, cameras became a little bit better. Uh, also on the same trip, uh, this leopard sitting just next to the road, uh, yeah, it's I think it's about two or three meters next to the uh, car. Uh, maybe it wasn't too smart to put the window down, but you want to have a great image. And uh, yeah, I think this one is still on my website actually, but I just really love this, uh, this image. Also the same trip uh, during the golden hour, we just drove uh, through the uh, Kruger Park on a road where nobody else went. You know, you're standing for the gate and everyone goes in that direction. And I always like to choose this one road where no one else is going into which usually means that you can drive for one or two hours without anyone disturbing the wildlife on or next to the road and yeah we encountered this kudu at that point uh, just after sunrise yeah, just one of my favorite shots uh, all time uh, right now I would say the sun is a little bit blown out but back then this was in 2013 yet yeah, I was just really happy with a shot like this uh, same trip uh, different morning uh, same procedure, just went on a road where nobody else was driving on and we encountered these, this group of lions in the fog. Yeah, I still love this uh, image, it's just so nice and uh, such a, a moody uh, image. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think you encounter a situation like this uh, uh, anymore, this is just a once in a lifetime thing. So uh, yeah, still a really awesome shot and especially those young lions here on the left bottom and the, the right bottom. They are just straight looking at me and they are just so looking so cute. So really happy with this one, great image. So after that, uh, I didn't go on holiday uh, for maybe two years and I started to go out uh, from my home here in the Netherlands a little bit more often. This is actually uh, in a pond here, somewhere in this uh, village that I'm living in. And I drove by there, noticed these two swans in a completely red uh, leafed pool. And I don't even know what it is. It's some kind of moss or something that turned red in, in that time of year. And I just knew this is going to be a cracker image. So I drove home, got my uh, camera, got on the bike, drove to that pool. And I just sat there uh, during sunset uh, to get this uh, image. And I'm just really happy with it. Uh, I've got another one. Uh, like this and um, yeah still using the Olympus E3 and yeah amazing shot so um, yeah also I've never seen that pool uh, with this red on it again uh, I think they pulled it out with a boat a year later so uh, never encountered anything like it again unfortunately so a couple of years later we went to uh, Sumatra in Indonesia and uh, I shot this image. I've uh, showed it in, an, uh, in a video uh, sometime before, uh, at least this trip. And yeah, it's just amazing to see uh, Orang Utan in the wild and especially with this youngster. So uh, yeah, a really cool moment and uh, absolutely an image that I, I take with me uh, uh, for the rest of my life. It's still on my website, I think. Uh, yeah, just really awesome. So a year later, uh, we went back to uh, South Africa and we wanted to do something different. So we made a road trip from South Africa, Namibia, uh, sorry, Botswana, Namibia, back to South Africa. And uh, still using the Olympus E3 at that moment. And 
yeah, this was just magical. I got a little bit more experienced in shooting wildlife and uh, looking for compositions and that stuff. Uh, so photography started to interest me uh, yeah, a little bit more at that point. So um, yeah, I took some amazing images like these three oryxes uh, on the edge of uh, Itosha Pen in Namibia. Um, yeah, I just really like this image, how the, the background is blurring away, the foreground is blurry, but just these three, yeah, on these straight lines, yeah, I just really like it. Also on this the, the trip, I made a video of this before, uh, this kingfisher in Botswana in the Okavango Delta, shot from my boat, uh, which was a hell to shoot. I'll put a link up to this video uh, up here if you want to see uh, more of this trip. But uh, yeah, an amazing moment and yeah, one of the first times that I really caught uh, one of these birds uh, yeah, live without it being there. It just flew over there and I caught it and a couple of seconds later it was gone. So uh, yeah, still really happy with this shot, especially how all this mess and then this one bird sitting in this beautiful spot. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. So this is one of the more fun images uh, from Namibia. Uh, yeah, I, I always remember uh, or think about that movie The Hangover where they drive around with a giraffe. And uh, yeah, when I saw this, I thought this is a great image, just uh, a fun image. But uh, yeah, it's the way it is in Africa, you know, uh, wildlife stops the traffic. This also was shot from Botswana, uh, that same trip. Uh, yeah, I just love the look in the eyes of this little monkey and how this background is blurry. I remember it is. Uh, I think it's the river in the background that I uh, positioned the camera to uh, uh, to make this background disappear. And it's actually sitting on top of a little bush. I just used the background to yeah, blur it out and make this monkey come alive in this image. And still, I think this is one of my better uh, images because I really got uh, yeah, the emotions of this uh, little monkey. Also from Botswana, uh, from the salt pans there, uh, I did a little trip. Uh, to find these meerkats and eventually we found them and yeah I just got this whole family sitting there watching yeah I don't know what they were watching but it just is an amazing image and uh, it's actually until now the image that has earned me the most money I've put this on Adobe stock uh, images and every now and then someone download, downloads this image uh, for a couple of bucks and uh, yeah I just still really like uh, this image so uh, yeah Absolutely worth uh, going there and also one of my, uh, my favorite animals. Uh, after this trip, uh, which was in the beginning of 2015, uh, I decided that I wanted a new camera and I bought the EM1, the first mirrorless camera. And uh, I bought it just before we went to uh, America and uh, the southwestern part. And I found this place where they had hummingbirds uh, in a garden. So this woman rented out her garden to uh, photograph uh, hummingbirds. And yeah, this is one uh, yeah really amazing. First time I caught a flying bird, uh, yeah, which uh, was an awesome feeling, and especially with a bit of a nice composition. So yeah, still really happy with this uh, specific image. So this is back in the Netherlands, uh, the Oostvaardersplasse. Uh, I started to go out more in the Netherlands to photograph uh, birds. And I caught this bird, I don't even know what it is, but I just like the composition, the minimalistic part. Just one leaf, one little bird, and uh, yeah, an amazing shot. This was during a workshop that I did with my uh, photo club. And yeah, I remember that I was really uh, uh, frustrated by uh, overexposing the sky. And then the guy that yeah, did this workshop, he told me, why don't you exclude the sky, just zoom into the underpart and uh, just focus on uh, the deer that are walking by there. And this amazing golden image came out. And this is a technique that I still use. And if you watch this channel uh, regular, then you know that uh, I love to use this technique with longer lenses in landscapes also. And uh, since that moment, I have been looking at situations like this all the time. You know, I can't look at a sunrise without uh, zooming into anything and uh, trying to catch this moody atmospheric golden light. So this is the first image that, that learned me that technique. And uh, yeah, I'm still using it today. So uh, yeah, a really great moment and a really great uh, image that uh, resulted in it. Uh, this is a few years later in, I think 2015, 
uh, we went back to South Africa again and I shot this uh, purple roller which I was after for years but never seen it before and I was uh, having dinner and it just landed in this tree next to me yeah just a really lucky moment and yeah I'm actually this is after sunset so uh, I was really happy that I could still catch it with a bit of a higher ISO but uh, yeah with the EM1 that I had back then uh, yeah it was a really nice image uh, same trip in Cape Town, uh, Kirsten Bos Botanical Gardens. Uh, we were walking by there, photographing some flowers, some sunbirds, and then all of a sudden, these two young owls were sitting there, uh, yeah, on a little ball, and I could really get close to them and just focus on the face of this little owl. So, yeah, very happy uh, with this shot. Uh, I just, I just really like it. So back in the Netherlands, uh, I started to visit the bird heights uh, a little more often. And uh, I shot this uh, kingfisher here in the Netherlands from a bird height in the Oostvaardersplasse, I think. And also this one, uh, yeah, I just really liked this bird. And these were the kind of images that I was really happy with uh, back then. Also from a bird height here in the Netherlands, uh, I don't know what this is called in, in English, but uh, I just really like the play of light and dark. And uh, it's something that I'm looking for in landscapes uh, still at this moment, uh, where I can use some lit up parts on darker backgrounds. And I all learned that by shooting wildlife, by uh, knowing what, what worked and what didn't work. So this was one of the images that really worked well. And also this one of uh, a woodpecker sitting on a piece of wood. Uh, yeah, and just a little touch of green lit up in the background, but the sun just hit this specific spot and not the background. So it creates some magical opportunities when you uh, come across a scene like this. So this is a little silhouette here on uh, National Park in, uh, on the Veluwe here. And yeah, for a long time I thought this was one of my greater images, but right now I think it might have been a bit too boring. I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, I, I do like the image, but uh, it could have been better. <laughs> so this is shot in my back garden in 2018. And we're approaching the end of my uh, wildlife slash bird photography era. Because uh, in 2018, my son was born. And after that, I started to switch a little bit more to landscapes. So uh, I, I still shoot some uh, wildlife uh, occasionally, but uh, not very much. So this is one uh, here in my background background, back garden, in a tree, there's a group of owls that returned for a couple of years. Uh, for the last two years they haven't been back, but the first couple of years that I was living here, uh, I shot this one uh, approaching autumn. So yeah, still an amazing image. And this is another image of one of those owls uh, sitting in a green tree on the other side of the garden. So this is shot at the end of 2018 uh, on my first trip to uh, Scotland. Uh, I was just driving around there and back then I was already starting to look for landscapes more so I was really uh, there for landscapes and then I noticed this group of red deer uh, yeah, in, in the middle of a field and yeah, I just really like how they're all looking uh, towards me. So uh, yeah, really nice moment and uh, still pretty happy with this shot actually. Uh, this is about a year later, 2019. Uh, I was in Denmark, my wife is half Danish, so uh, we're uh, coming to Denmark uh, uh, yeah, pretty often. And I just shot this uh, bird, I don't even know what it's called, but I just like this red color and uh, sitting in the sunlight. And yeah, a bit of a different uh, image uh, for the time I was uh, yeah, uh, shooting <laughs> less and less wildlife and birds. So I was really happy to, uh, to come across this one. And this is another one just from my garden uh, the next year. Uh, one of those uh, long-eared owls sitting in the tree here in my garden, which, uh, yeah, if they come, it's always a good uh, photographic opportunity. And this is the last image uh, that I'm going to show in this video, uh, shot with my EM1X. So uh, this is the first uh, time I'm using that camera, a macro image of this orange tip butterfly. And uh, yeah, I'm still uh, yeah, really happy with this uh, specific shot. And... Um, yeah, after this, I just went into uh, landscapes, <laughs> full throttle, you know, uh, everything was about landscapes at that point. And uh, pretty uh, not long after that, I started making YouTube videos. And so the, the 
wildlife pictures that I encountered after this are on this channel on different videos. So these were the wildlife images that I shot before this YouTube channel. Um, like I said, they, those were never in any video, uh, any on location video, maybe once uh, one or two have come by uh, in the past uh, to make an example of something. But I just really enjoyed uh, showing these images uh, to you and uh, I hope you did too. And right now I'm actually approaching the 2000 subscribers and that's actually why I wanted to make this little series to uh, introduce myself a little bit more. And I hope you like it. I have another one of those videos uh, coming up in a few weeks uh, about landscape. So I shot a lot of landscapes before this YouTube channel, uh, which were never featured in any video. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show those to you also. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget if you have any questions for me for a little ask me uh, anything video, leave them in the comments, send me a message. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, to make a video about that uh, in a while. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget, push the thumbs up button. And there is a subscribe button underneath this video. If you push it, select all on the little notification bell, you will get a message when I release uh, my next video. So this Sunday, we're going back into nature here in the Netherlands for a lot of landscapes, a really moody, foggy morning. So make sure to stick around for that. And uh, yeah, hope to see you then. So for now, thanks for watching. Bye bye.